Hello dear students dear colleagues welcome to this new series of understanding exercise physiology i am going to take many tutorials on exercise physiology and its application while prescribing exercise or for yourself for your own family to plan suitable exercise program we all do exercise for lot of benefits but understanding exercise physiology makes your exercise program more fruitful first lesson today what is physical activity we all talk about physical activity isn't it do you know what is a physical activity if physical activity is exercise why should we call exercise why should we call physical activity so dear students physical activity means any bodily movement which results in energy expenditure i repeat if you are moving your hand it is burning may 6 to 8 calories then it is physical activity i repeat physical activity it is a bodily movement any kind of movement which involving your skeletal system your joints are moving your muscles are contracting and this activity should result in some energy expenditure that means you should burn some calories that is physical activity clear then next question comes if physical activity is clear why do we have to have a new word exercise yes it's a very intelligent question physical activity has no direction has no planning you may carry a bucket of water into a kitchen physical activity it also burns calories how you burn in a gymnasium doing some gardening lifting weights in the house going to market by walk coming back all our physical activities all the burn calories like exercise you are right then why do we need exercise a separate word exercise means it is also a physical activity which is planned which is structured which is repetitive and it has a purpose remember exercise means a physical activity which is planned you have a planning and then it is very well structured you do 10 repetitions of abdomen you do 5 repetitions of biceps whatever it is it is a well structured physical activity it is repetitive in nature so you keep on doing same thing again and again repetitions sets multiple sets these all terminologies you come across during exercise so exercise is a plan structured and repetitive physical activity but it has one purpose it is a very much a purposeful physical activity what is the purpose of physical activity yes what you thinking is right purpose of physical activity is to maintain fitness purpose of physical activity is to maintain fitness why do we need fitness to avoid hypokinetic diseases to avoid hypokinetic kinetic means movement a 100 kg obese man who is not able to walk it is hypokinetically diseased a heart patient who has undergone bypass or angioplasty who has been told not to walk is also hypokinetic but people who are fit they can move better they can move faster 
they can perform activities with movement yes so we do exercise with a purpose of maintaining fitness and goals of fitness number one goal is to avoid hypokinetic disease all stressful disorders like diabetes heart disease obesity renal failure or any other disease which doesn't allow you to move freely number 2 it also improves your organ function your lungs perform better your heart pumps better your kidney perfusion is better your neuromuscular coordination is better so purpose of fitness apart from preventing hypokinetic activities it is also to increase your organ function your physiological function in the body last but most important is to enjoy life fit people enjoy better life than unfit people so my dear friends today's tutorial we have discussed what is physical activity and what is exercise and the goals of both so we'll meet you in our next tutorial till then goodbye